primary. And it's widely presumed that uh, whoever wins the primary, they're the Republican primary anyway, in West Michigan is going to get that seat. Same goes for the uh, seat that Steve Heacock is looking for. He's the ex-Kent County Commissioner running for the seat that has been occupied by Congressman Vern Ehlers, who is retiring. He's a Republican. Steve, good to talk to you again. We're with Congressman Mike Rogers. Yes, good morning. Great to hear your voice. Hi, Steve. How you doing, Mike? Good. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, give us a bit uh, of what you would uh, say if you were standing on the porch knocking on the door and somebody said, well, how can I help you, Mr. Heacock? Well, that's easy to do since I was doing that last night. Were you? And by the way, if Ted was knocking on doors in Grand Rapids, he was lost because um, he's in the second district and Grand Rapids is in the third. I'm okay. just teasing you, Michael. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, actually what, what, what I believe uh, it's about is leadership, experience, and results. And the truth is, if you look at my, my background, is first a CPA and then a tax and health lawyer, and frankly, a tax lawyer that was defending taxpayers against the IRS and the Department of Justice, and then... That makes you one of the good lawyers, just so you exactly, know. Exactly. There are, there are a few. Uh, <laughs> there are, uh, I think there are five in the whole country. You may be one of them. Yeah. <laughs> involvement in, in getting the arena here, and the convention center, and the medical school, and Millennium Park, and things. I mean, I, I really, I, I'm really ready to set my record in front of the voters and uh, ask for their consideration. Frankly, it's a privilege just to be running for Congress. It's such a great system and country. Do you have any sense for where you stand in the in the primary race? Yeah, we're doing real well, and and uh, the the response we're getting and and the polling we're doing shows that we've started from pretty much nothing uh, because mm-hmm. of the name name recognition. I'm not a politician. I'm not an existing office holder. Uh, to 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 a very robust three way race uh, now in the primary. Okay, well, we will talk again soon in more detail. Just wanted to say hello to Steve Heacock this morning, the uh, former Kent County Commissioner, Republican, running for the seat uh, that has been occupied by Congressman Vern Ehlers. Uh, Brenda in Lansing, Mike in Okemos, your questions are coming next for U.S. Congressman Mike Rogers here in our Gillespie Group storefront studio a couple of blocks from the Capitol. We're back in a flash. I Congressman Mike Rogers running for re-election has um, sort of uh, sung this song to one of the candidates for governor, I Believe in You, and you've uh, decided to back Pete Hoekstra. West Michigan. Great guy. Yeah. Uh, why? Well, as I've told a lot of people, I have, uh, on the Intelligence Committee, there's no cameras, there's no microphones, uh, none of that. And so you can really tell the character of somebody by what they're doing when they think nobody's watching. Mm. And I've watched Pete make some very hard decisions on behalf of the United States and stick with them. And uh, he challenged George Bush when he needed to be challenged on some intelligence matters. And he's challenged Obama, which tends to be a lot more often. Uh, and I think he's the kind of guy with the right kind of attitude. He's got business experience and policy experience to lead the state out of this, uh, the muck and mire we find ourselves in. So I, he, he inspired me enough to, that I probably would not have endorsed in this election to, to feel it was important enough to do that. 26 days away from that primary election. Uh, Pete Hoekstra will join us in just a minute or two. Brenda is in Lansing with Congressman Mike Rogers. Do you have a question for the congressman? Brenda, are you there? Yes, uh, um, I have voted for uh, Congressman Rogers since the very beginning. I want to put that out. Well, thank you but, very much. I'll, keep, I'll work hard to earn those. Thank you very much. Uh, what I would like to do this year, I think this is the year for it, uh, for Congress to investigate the position that Montana, I believe, is leading, and I think Michigan should go that way, is to uh, bring the collection of the income tax, the federal income tax, to the states, and then the states get to uh, distribute it to the government. I think so many of the states are in um, almost bankrupt position. They're having a hard time uh, paying their own uh, bills. This would bring jobs to the state to tax to uh, collect the taxes and to disperse them within the state for the things that the state need. Not Brenda, let's see what uh, the congressman thinks about that. What, what does she mean by that? Yeah, I think what she's, <coughs> she's talking about, and, and Brenda, you can call my office if I'm wrong, but uh, that there has been some discussion about having all the money stay in the states and then them send that them distribute it to their programs here in the state and then would also send a check back to the federal government. Oh, I see. And, uh, you know, there might be some merit in that in the sense that 
you get a better handle about the, just how much waste is in the federal government system. Um, again, I think the simplest way to do this uh, is a flat tax. Uh, and what it does is it, it forces the federal government to make decisions based on what revenues they really have versus this notion of we can change this little calculation in a you know, thousand page tax code that I doubt anyone has read. Mm -hmm. I've been in Congress 10 years. <laughs> I don't know if I've made it all the way through the darn thing. Yeah. Although there is a great plot twist at about page 800. <laughs> I might, I might admit. <laughs> I'm afraid to ask. Krista yeah. in Sydney, you're in the air with Congressman Mike Rogers. Good morning. Good morning. I had a moral question. I've always been taught and raised that uh, morals of a country also goes to country. I would like to hear his uh, opinion on homosexuality, the laws, and uh, abortion. Okay. Social issues, I guess, is what uh, Krista is asking about. You're, you're uh, sure. pro-life, aren't you? I'm a pro-life uh, candidate and always have been and respect the sanctity of life. Um, I know, uh, the uh, uh, homosexual question, I have always supported uh, defense of mar the Defense of Marriage Act uh, and uh, believe that marriage is between a man and a woman. Mike in Okemos, you have a question for Congressman Mike Rogers. Mike, good morning. Good morning. This is Mike from Okemos. And Michael Patrick, thank you for having this show. Thank you. Um, Congressman, I uh, want to make sure that you uh, uh, exercise your expertise in, in the White House very soon, please. Uh, the question I had for you is Russia uh, was battling Afghanistan and uh, I ran, I think, and it depleted their resources to the point where they had economic uh, woes. That basically, they imploded. What's to keep the United States from falling into the same trap? Yeah, and, and that's a, it's a great question. The, the one, I think, big difference is that Russia wanted to own Afghanistan. They wanted it to be part uh, of the Soviet Union at the time. They wanted it to be another buffer state for them. Uh, and it was not because it was, uh, you know, it's, it's abundance of riches. They wanted it because they thought it, would, it presented a strategic uh, a buffer between them in, and Iran. And so what we, we're not interested in that. What we would really like to do there, and, and believe me, I have lots of problems with the way the president uh, is going after the, the fight in Afghanistan. But what we really want to do there is ha leave as soon as we can when Afghanistan can protect itself. And I always use Turkey as a great example. Turkey had 40,000 people killed in the 90s in terrorist attacks, but they sustained it because they had a government that could sustain it. They're going to have terrorist attacks in Afghanistan. We need to leave when the government can sustain it and continue to operate for the people of Af Afghanistan. Congressman Mike Rogers, uh, Will and Lansing, you'll be next. The number 888 900 It's Michael Patrick Shields back in a flash.